Merry Christmas, YouTube. I don't really have a Christmas-themed video for you today, but uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this one anyways. Today we'll be making potassium nitrate from ammonium nitrate and potassium chloride. Uh, it's a fairly simple synthesis. So what I have here on the left is 50 grams of ammonium nitrate uh, and 46.6 grams of potassium chloride, the stoichiometrically equivalent amounts. Uh, and I've got 125 milliliters or so of water to dissolve everything in. So the first step in this is to just dissolve all the ammonium nitrate in the water. And this reaction is actually highly endothermic. Uh, it's what they use in those uh, cold packs, instant cold packs. So as you mix everything, uh, the solution will cool down significantly. Okay, it looks like everything is dissolved. Uh, and just to show you the temperature difference, I've added a thermometer to this. When I started, this was at about 20 degrees Celsius, or around 70 degrees room temperature. Uh, and now, as you can see on the thermometer, it's shot down to just above freezing, just above zero. So that's pretty significant. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of um, gunk and, and foam and, and stuff just floating around in there. Uh, I believe that that is anti-caking agents that are used. Uh, I actually got this from a uh, cold pack. So I believe they use anti-caking agents in those, uh, and that's what that should be. So I think what I'm going to do is filter that off before I continue. Okay, all the extra stuff's been filtered out, so now we just need to add the potassium chloride. Um, and because of the cooling effect that I mentioned, uh, we're very likely going to need to heat this a little bit extra just to speed the dissolution uh, and drive the reaction to completion. So what I'm going to do is get my burner here and I'll put it on top of that. And just turn the heat on low just until everything is dissolved. So now we'll just continue uh, to stir that constantly until everything is in dissolution. So I heated the solution until it was about 75 C, uh, and it still didn't really dissolve everything. There was still a little bit of potassium chloride uh, floating around in the bottom. Uh, so maybe I didn't dissolve enough, maybe I just wasn't patient enough and I didn't uh, heat it up uh, as much as I should have, but whatever. In the end, uh, I just filtered it out. So all I have uh, to do now, so all I have to do now is uh, immerse this in an ice bath to cool it down. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this is because the two products that are produced in this reaction, um, potassium nitrate and ammonium chloride, uh, have greatly different solubilities. So when I cool this down, uh, the potassium nitrate will crystallize and the ammonium chloride will remain in solution. So it's an effective way to separate them. There will still be a little bit of contamination, but that's really not an issue for me uh, because I'm going to be using the potassium nitrate I produced for another project that I'm going to do that also requires ammonium chloride. So cross-contamination isn't an issue at all for my, for my purposes anyways. Uh, so as I said, now we'll, we'll just let this cool down and crystallize. So I've had this cooling for just a couple of minutes now and it's down a little bit below room temperature and already you can see the crystals forming in the bottom of the, uh, the inner beaker there. So that's potassium nitrate and they're actually quite beautiful. These really large white crystals. So that looks like it's going to lead to a pretty good yield. You can also see in the top uh, it's, all, it's along the entire bottom of the, the beaker so far. So that's going pretty quickly. Alright, well it looks like I've crystallized out about as much of this as I'm going to. And you can see that it just forms these really beautiful, long, spiky crystals all throughout. It's 
It's kind of a shame to destroy them, but that's what I'm going to do. So I'll take this out of here and uh, decant off the liquid, which should contain all of the ammonium chloride. There they are. That should be my potassium nitrate. Uh, I'll probably either boil down or evaporate off the rest of the, uh, the liquid there so I can recover the ammonium chloride as well so I don't waste anything. But those are my results.